Hello, my peeps out there. As you can see, we're looking at four pennies. You've already seen this one in my previous video called the Zombie Lincoln Penny. I just called that because of what looks the hole right there. You've probably seen these other three as well. But as you can tell by the topic of this video, this is a video called Pennies That Survived the Age of Time and Man to date. <laughs> so. We're going to throw these bad boys under the microscope. We're going to take a good look at them, all four of them, even though we've already seen the one in the, the coin flip. And we're going to see what the, the um, ravages of time and man can do to a penny. So give me one second. Okay, now. We're looking at that that one penny, not the one in the coin flip, the one that was at the bottom left of it. And as you can see, he has a bit of red in him, he has a lot of brown in him. He's been chewing up because, as you can see, he's got a hole right, a hole right there. It doesn't go all the way through him. But then he has this gash mark right there. You can see right here, he's missing a nice sized chunk of him. It looks like he's got a divot on his cheek as well, but it's not beside the point. As you can see, he is pretty badly stained. Even as a, a one that's there by the word liberty, as you can see, and it looks like between the L and the D as well. So yeah, I mean, look at that. He, he's pretty bad. He's in bad condition. And it takes the back of him. The back of him is in better condition. Let's just put it that way. As you can see, I'm missing a spot up here, but right there. I don't know what that bluing is or of course, you're going to cop that. That's right underneath him, like right here. And just look at that. That could be part of the components of the coin. But then again, who knows? As you see, the back is not really that bad. He is badly discolored. He is stained. But he has been chewn up. So that's coin number one that has survived at the ravages of time and man. So let's check out coin number two. And as you can see, on the coin number two, I mean, look at that. He has like no edging right, right there at all. That is, he has just been chewed up and spit back out multiple times. And look at all, this, all the damage done to his face. It looks like he has a hole. Someone punched him right those lip, looks like. <laughs> Maybe someone hopped in the penny to beat the shit out of him. I don't know what the date on this one is. I can't really make that out that well. But, uh... Do you think that's pretty bad? Let me see the back. Because... Well... As you can see... The back has seen his day, his day as well. Most definitely. Isn't that really terrible? Can we believe it as we, we treat our metal change like this trash? Isn't that just funny? But still, I mean, you gotta admit, that is pretty eaten up. Our third coin on today's docket, let's just say the front looks a lot worse than the back. So, let me pop on that third penny and I'll show you. Now, as you can see in my peep, um, He's not really in that bad of condition for the, one, the two before him and the one that's in the after that you've already seen. So if you look, he has nice little gash marks and divots like, all over him. 1989 D looks like a uh, double strike, but it's not. That's just, that's just minting a uh, double strike, which is worthless. But as you can see, he is not in the best condition either. We has a nice little gash going through it, connecting the W and the E together. He has spots missing in his hair. He has his whole his whole color on his rim is gone. But otherwise, he's not really that he's not that bad. His back is actually a lot better than his front is. I'll show you. And as you can see. The back is not that bad. I mean, I could, I could actually see every single step 
and it's right there. And as you can see the one cent, you can appear where this discoloration is right here. I don't know what that is exactly. I've tried to get that off, it doesn't come off. Then you're looking at discoloration right there in between the D and the S United States. But all in all, the back of this penny is actually in really, really good condition. Compared to the front, it has all those scrapes, gashes, cuts, and whatever you want to put all over it. But the last penny, like I said, you've already seen. I'm still going to stay under the microscope so you can take another look at it in case some peeps messed up there. So give me one second. And as you can see, my peeps, this is the penny that I, I labeled the Lincoln Zombie Penny. 1989-1986D Lincoln Penny. Which means a Lincoln Memorial Penny. But I mean, look at this. Isn't that just horrid? I have never seen a penny this young with that much damage. And if you think that's bad, wait until you see the back of it. The back of it is just ugly. But you see, I mean, and if you look at it, look at it, it's really funny. You got all this discoloration around him, a little bit in his hair, his face in the back of his hair, and going down his little right, got discoloration down there. But that's the Lincoln Zombie Penny at the front of it. Now the back of it. Um, well, there we go, that's right. Look at that. <laughs> Do you believe how much of a bigger gash that is in that the back of this penny? Compared to the small one. It's like someone took like a hollow point BB and just shot the front of it and ripped out the back of it. This is what a hollow point bullet would do to someone. Do anything basically. It's a small hole in front and a big hole in back. But I know it's a Lincoln Memorial penny because of the date. And you can sort of see right there but the building. Um no FG that I can see, but maybe. Uh, I'm not casting FG there. And then you got the white AM. You got a little black, you got a little splotch right there on the, the end of one. Back to the just colored. But look at this. Not just. Gruesome. I've had people suggest that maybe you got on the street and the process of rock, the rock salt and stuff that stick out there could have done this to the penny. But I haven't seen any pennies that have such precise damage that do. Ooh, that's like one square. That's almost, like a, that's almost a good rectangle right there. And then you got way up here, right down there, comes over here, comes up there. But yeah, it's like a rectangle. I've never seen anything that can do such almost precise damage to a coin before like that. So if anyone has any suggestions of what could damage this penny to make it so it's still surviving the ravages of time and man, uh, drop me a comment and let me know. If you guys enjoy my content, please uh, hit that subscribe button and let me know that you want more content. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.